Hello folks, this is 2021 May June paper 1 1 and the question number is 13. Uh, as uh, the diagram shows, the question uh, belongs to the chapter of forces and it is uh, it seems to be concerned about uh, torques or moment. It says that a, a uniform rigid bar XY, rigid means that it doesn't bend when force is applied, with the negligible mass is 1.2 km long, so its whole length is 1.2 km. The bar is pivoted at point P, so it is pivoted here at point P, so let me highlight it by using this red color. Three coplanar forces act on the bar as shown, so the forces are F, this is 20 Newton, and this is Newton. so all of them are in this plane surface. It means that none of them is applying like this, like this, or maybe like this, maybe like this, so all of them are on, on this plane surface. Uh, forces of 16 Newton and 20 Newton act perpendicularly to the bar, so to the bar, uh, to the bar at uh, points X and Y respectively, X and Y. Force F acts at point Z, which is at the edge, at an angle of 30 degrees to the axis of the bar, so it is the axis of the bar and the angle is 30 degree. The distances along the bar of the pivot and of the forces are shown, all distances shown here, shown. The bar experiences are resultant moment P of uh, 6.0 Newton meter. So this is the resultant moment or torque in the clockwise direction. What's the magnitude of F? What's the magnitude of F? So first of all, let us calculate the interaction of all the moments or forces or torques here. The first thing is, since this is pivot and the force is here, it will try to move this thing in in a clockwise sense it tries to move it in a clockwise sense this is fixed we apply it like this it will try to read like this so that's why this is clockwise so this is clockwise again this is pivot the force is like this so if this is pivot and force is like this it will try to move this in the clockwise so this is also clockwise clockwise now pivot and force here so this is anti-clockwise clockwise so that means uh, two clockwise and one anti-clockwise and it says that the resultant is 6.0 Newton meter in a clockwise direction. So now what I have to do is, so since uh, torque resultant is equal to total torque here, so the total torque here should be equal to first its torque. Its torque will be it will be force into force into the radius during rotation. Radius radius is this much, which is uh, Pz and Pz is 0.3 plus 0.6. It is 0.9 into sine of sine of sine of the angle between direction of force and this r this uh, this radius so the angle here should be the least angle here which is equal to this this is 30 degree so it is 30 degrees so one clockwise and another clockwise is plus plus this one so it is 16 into 0 0.30 since it's perpendicular, it is sine 90, that's why it is simply 1, so it is forced into this R. And minus, this is anti-clockwise, so minus, it should be equal to 20 into, 20 into this distance, R, which is 0 0.30. 0. So this is the equation. And this T resultant is equal to, it is 6, 6.0. So the overall value should be equal to, so uh, first let us do like this, so F, into 0 0.9 into 0 0.5 should be equal to equal to 6 minus this 16 into 0 0.30 0 plus 20 into 0 0.30 0, which will be equal to so the right side will be equal to equal equal it is uh, 6 minus bracket to uh, bracket to uh, 16 into okay this altogether becomes 7.2 7.2 so therefore 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 f is equal to is equal to 7.2 divided 0 0.9 into 0 0.5 and this gives us 16 newtons newtons so 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 uh, i think 16 uh, let, let me do it i did roughly but uh, I think if I remember, so 7.2 divided bracket 0 0.9, yeah, 16 Newton. So, so, so the answer is uh, somewhere here, somewhere here. So, C is the correct choice.